Welcome back to Zudan's Report. I'm here with Mayor Laura Moss of Vero Beach, Florida, and we're at the Florida Eye Institute uh, filming with a lovely background of our nice local oak trees. Yes, I, quite lovely. Um, I wanted to talk to Laura. We're talking about, we're focusing on the electric today and the, uh, the deal to uh, sell Vero Electric to FPNL. And um, so let's just get right into that. What is the... What is the Be happy to. Um, where the, the point we have reached now is that they are uh, refining or defining the, uh, the definitive agreement, which is the contract. We already have a letter of intent, and that is between um, Florida Power and Light, FPL, and the city of Vero Beach. But it includes other parties, such as FMPA, which is the Florida Municipal Power Agency, and also OUC, which is the Orlando Utilities Commission. We, by the way, buy power from both of those organizations, from OUC and from FMPA. We also, of course, have our own uh, electric distribution, transmission and distribution system. So those employees uh, will be offered jobs at FPL. And okay, all, good. All so this they're not going to lose their job in the FPL process of this. And FPL will pay for their pensions. And good. FPL is also going to cover uh, a bond covenants that we have, even though, um, as we mentioned in the earlier uh, segment, the power plant has been closed since November of 2015. There's still a bond covenants on that. And by that, I mean there, there's debt. There still is debt on that plant, even though it no longer is operating. So, uh, and that's to the tune of uh, 20 some odd million. So, FPL's cover, basically FPL's covering all of our, all of our debt. So. And, and we will walk away with $30 million in cash. Okay, so there's uh, over $100 million that we owe because of a bad deal FMBA, that was made. FMBA, 108 million. 108 yes, million. Yes, There's 6 million that's going to fund unfunded pension benefits. Yes, 6.6, okay. 6, I think it is. All the current employees there are getting jobs at FPL. and They'll all be offered for jobs. And Orlando Utility, we owe them $20 million. Up, up, up to $20 million, okay. yes, to get out and of to remove ourselves covered. from that contract, yes. And then there's another $30 million that the city is going to be paying. $30 paid. million in cash. Cash money. Yes. So what are we going to do with that, the cash? That comes into the coffers. <laughs> <laughs> well, because government, as soon as they get money, they they like no, to spend no, it, right? No, no, I'm not going to. Don't plan to spend it right away. Uh, in fact, even this year with the budget, we are addressing infrastructure issues, and maybe at some point we'll do another show about infrastructure because I, that's really critical to me and to some of the other members yeah, like on their city roads council. Paved and infrastructure yeah. is, and even the um, you know the, uh, the pipes, you know the, the stormwater. I mean, there are basically two sides of the stormwater. I, we, we've referred to it as as quality and quantity issues, and the quantity issue is when you have 11 inches of rain in one day, as we did a year ago, pipes were bursting. So that, that's the quantity, quantity of water, of stormwater. So we don't want pipes bursting, and that's right. very important. That's all covered in the budget for the upcoming fiscal year. That's great. We've, we've allotted money for that. Where we're, where we're still um, a little short is on the quality issue, which is the lagoon. Now, of course, the city does not control the lagoon. It's, it's very, very important. We need to do our share. But we do, we do not control the lagoon. So that being said, and, and then by the way, that's also an area where matching grants are available, yeah. where there are larger organizations, gonna, interlocal agreements, quasi-governmental agencies, yes. uh, you know, you're not flying spending saucers, this. practically you know, anything can happen in the lagoon. Even the creature from the Black Lagoon. Remember that movie? <laughs> <laughs> I watched no, that I've again, never by seen the that. way. No, I you really you have to get a copy. I watched it. We're going to address uh, in an upcoming uh, show. We're going to address some of the lagoon issues. Um, I'm going to have. Uh, 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 Councilman uh, Lang Sykes come oh, in and we're going to talk about that. That would that, be great. Because I know that's, uh, that is a real uh, passion for, yeah. uh, for Councilman Sykes. He always um, you know, speaks very fervently about that at the city council meetings. But, um, I know he's, let, and he's very knowledgeable in that area. Yeah. Let's stick to the, uh, the current deal. So, yes. the, uh, for the electric. Um, so, the, the, um, one of the things that someone brought up to me that I never really thought about, okay, is right. that we have a huge uh, risk. Of owning um, all yes. these transmission lines and yes. and all all the um, the infrastructure yes. related to electric that we're not going to have this risk anymore. And what I mean yes. is, mm -hmm. if we have a, a bad hurricane or there's yeah. basically a hurricane uh, that comes through here, there is an incredible amount of potential damage, and then there's also a lot of upkeep yes. to keep this stuff going. So, can you you want to yes, talk yes, about you that? Yes, you mentioned you make two very good points, and as uh, the people. Our residents here know we were very fortunate last year with that storm 
which could have hit us directly and, and been very serious, uh, had a very serious effect because, well, one of the things that uh, the people argue about with this contract is contingent liabilities, but actually the, the whole system is a huge liability because if a, a Category 5 hurricane hit here, or even a 4 probably, just flatten the system, and we you know we can't rebuild it. So you make you, know, and there you, is you no make money. an excellent point with that. Well, there just there isn't enough money to, to rebuild the entire system. The yeah. entire system is a, is a liability uh, to the city. And the other thing is, uh, and this came before us uh, when I was uh, on Utilities Commission uh, in 2015-16. Uh, the staff had said to us, well, you know, we need to invest in the system, uh, and that was going to be $21 million over 20 years. But, you know, $21 million is, that's is a, lot a lot of, of money, money over the next 20 years just to, you know, keep us where we are. And that's not, that, that's not accounting for new technology. As right. you know, I mean, you have solar is, is huge. Uh, FPL just opened that huge solar uh, panel farm the, uh, out at Blue Cypress, which is which is beautiful, by the way. It's amazing. Yeah. Like the, the panels, for anyone who hasn't seen them, it looks like your front door with two wires attached. In fact, I was kidding. I was out there with the president of FPL, and I said, even a girl can do this, because you, know, you, just, you just plug it in, and that's it. It's so what easy. What do you mean, even a girl? No, Girls are about... smart. My well, daughter sure, is like, uh, she's she's very smart. She's uh, really good at math. And, of course we're yes. smart, but I leave the heavy lifting to the, oh, city, that, to the, the city manager. Okay. I, leave it, I leave it to Jim O'Connor. She's, yeah. <laughs> My wife is really you, very strong. She actually works out all the time. Oh, okay, well, politics shape. is bad for your health. <laughs> Let me tell you, I don't have. I I did too until I was elected. You bring up I, a, I don't have time now. Politics is bad for your health. I don't get to the gym anymore. Oh, you need to <laughs> restart. You need to find time for that. You got to take care of I yourself. Do. I know. Um, it brings up when you mentioned the solar. It brings up an interesting thing. A lot of people don't know that the electric that we're buying, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of this is generated in coal plants. And yes. Uh, it, yes. It, so what we're doing. One of the other nice things, you know, a side benefit of this deal at the same time is that FPNL has much cleaner um, yes, footprint absolutely. of the energy that they're producing with the added solar mm -hmm. and nuclear power, which they have uh, several reactors, doesn't do anything. Um, well, that's to true. The, it has zero uh, CO2 emissions. So there's a. Um, Th that's actually a, a side mm -hmm. benefit. It's where we should get, be getting our power. And a lot of around the world, um, there's a trend towards closing coal plants because not just the environmental, but it's actually becoming less economic, ec economically viable compared to solar is getting a lot cheaper. And it's something that um, I think we don't want to be. We don't want to be in the electric business in the future. Well, if we don't sell this, we're going to have some problems down the road. You're right. That's the thing. I mean, as a, as a small city, you know, we can't keep up with rapidly changing technology. That's not a realistic goal. And it's not a good use of our money to be chasing the needle on the, you know, on future uh, technology in this in that sector. It's not, right. uh, it would not be a smart way to approach it. Yeah. So you're right. You make a very good point. Yep. So, um, so when is this going to happen? If it's going to, you know, if it happens, when um, is it going to happen? The, you know, and the, what the, might make it not happen? Okay, you know the part with FPL um, pretty much is happening. They, I mean, they, they, they're as I said, they're working on the contract in terms of the details. The no, the numbers have all been laid out, uh, but they're they're working on. There are a thousand and one details. You, it's, the contract will end up being a few hundred pages. It's, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a break, and okay. we're going to we're going to come back in, in just right. a minute, and we're going to finish this up, and you're going to okay. get the yes, answers to back. those don't, questions. Don't get scared. It is a few hundred pages, but I'm not going to talk about every page. Come back. Definitely okay. not.